Hi, it's Dr. McCarthy again, and today we're going to talk about thyroid treatment success video number seven. In this video, we're going to talk about tyrosine. And a lot of people, um, again, in the last video we spoke about iodine, and when you walk into the health food stores, the, uh, and you tell the, the clerk that you got a thyroid problem, the number one thing they're going to reach for is iodine. The second thing that they might reach for is tyrosine. And tyrosine, like iodine, it is a vital part of thyroid, normal thyroid hormone production, normal thyroid physiology. So yes, we do need tyrosine, but the overwhelming majority of us get enough tyrosine from our diet. You don't need supplemental tyrosine. The issue is those people who have an autoimmune thyroid condition and start taking tyrosine hoping that this will be their, their solution, um, they just haven't done their, their homework. You're listening to a clerk who's got absolutely no medical training who's just trying to sell you something. Now, though they mean well, they haven't done their homework either. I've been studying thyroid problems for decades, and what we found is there is not one research study that I've come across that says you could take supplemental tyrosine and will help to boost your thyroid hormone production. I just haven't seen it. What I do find invariably though is that people who supplement with tyrosine actually increase their adrenal hormones. They'll increase cortisol, they'll increase epinephrine, they'll increase their norepinephrine. And when these things get incre increased across the board, it leads to stressed out adrenal glands. Stressed out adrenal glands left long standing now will start to lead to brain fog. And this is something that's very common that we see. Patients will say, I just feel like I'm kind of walking around in the fog. I don't feel like myself. My memory's not there. I'm not thinking as clearly as I used to. And then again, once your adrenal glands get stressed out for a long enough period of time, it'll start to lead to sleep disturbances. Now, if you follow the traditional healthcare model, you'll just they work on a replacement model. Let's replace tyrosine, and we'll create these adrenal problems. It'll get, create a stress problem, stressed out adrenal glands, sleep problems now. That's fine. We'll just give you a sleeping pill. Sleeping pill, that's not a problem. That leads to depression. That's fine. We'll give you an antidepressant. That's not the way it works in our office. We don't prescribe tyrosine for anybody, especially if you have an autoimmune thyroid problem. If you are unsure if you've got an autoimmune thyroid problem or what your thyroid problems are, you need to call my office now. Don't suffer a minute longer. Thanks.